Hey beautiful people, it's Rakita and I'm back with another video. So in this video, you guys, this is actually my first podcast where I'm actually going to connect with realtors and mortgage brokers. Now we have an excellent, excellent, excellent realtor here. She's actually from Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama. Her name is Anne Marie Cusimano and her mortgage broker is Local Realty. So thank you so much, Anne Marie, for coming to my podcast. How are you doing today? Very good. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. I am so excited, you guys. So I talked to her already, and she was telling me about all the different things that they're doing out there. Because I said I've been to Birmingham, but I haven't really been to Birmingham. So I'm gonna let her tell her tell us a little bit about herself, and then we're gonna go into the podcast. So awesome. tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, where are you from? You know, are your mother? What are your things that you're doing right now, other than real estate? And then tell us a little bit about your real estate. Okay. Um, I am a mother. I'm originally from Oxford, Alabama, not Oxford, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Oxford, Alabama is about an hour um, east of Birmingham. I moved to Birmingham in 2000. I was previously in the legal field for 18 years working oh, in real wow. estate. I worked in real estate, all areas, foreclosures, mm -hmm. bankruptcies, closings, whatnot. Um, got into real estate in 2015, and I've been an agent for five years. Um, me and my husband have seven children together so seven. we are a blended family seven children and currently we also have two foster children so that's, that's amazing interesting. <laughs> yeah um it's a busy life but yes. it's a fun life. um pretty much i've loved working in real estate my thing working in the legal field so long as i knew i loved real estate but i didn't like sitting behind a desk i love people i love talking to people sometimes i'm told i talk too much um <laughs> So it's, it's really worked out well for me being an agent because I get to deal with all walks of life. I get to have an influence on people in that way mm -hmm. by being a, you know, a big part of something, you know, that's huge. Um, mm -hmm. So we live on the, currently we live still about 10 minutes from downtown Birmingham, but it's on the north side of Birmingham in a city called Gardendale, Alabama. Okay, that's 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 yeah. amazing. I didn't know you was in, you did anything with law. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So all parts of real estate, like yes, everything all parts. So that means you can really help clients because sometimes I have clients where you have to figure something out for them. You right. know, everybody has a different type of problem, and you're yeah. you most likely didn't already handled it. I, I feel like it gives me sometimes just a little bit of bit of a leg up. So yeah. Yeah, that is amazing. <laughs> so oh my gosh, and then two seven children. <laughs> so I'm pregnant now with baby number five. Aww, yeah, congratulations. so that's exciting. About five months, <laughs> and I was like, no more after this, no more. <laughs> but that's awesome. amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. So what? Well, um, what type of clients do you you typically help? Um, I've helped all type of clients. I love working with single moms. I was a single mom at one point. Um, so I have a really big heart for single moms. I have a really big heart for people that are in need of a little bit of credit work that's buying their first home. Um, I've tried to educate myself on that side of things and just really give them a special touch, you know, because I know that's a dream for everybody is being a homeowner. Um, I've worked with people retiring, wanting to buy their lake house, um, yeah. people just downsizing from their families, you know, growing up and starting to have their own lives. So mm -hmm. I really don't, I've never been an agent that likes to limit myself. Yes. I open myself to everything. There's nobody that I will not help. And I've, I've always made sure of that. That's perfect. And do you all have like um, I usually have a lot of buyers. That's the biggest mm -hmm. thing is people that want to buy a home. Is there any special programs out there for people that want to buy? Like, do you guys um, have any special programs or um, if you're working with a special mortgage broker that has special mm -hmm. programs that way, like, hey, we're doing this special right now? One of the programs that I like the most, and, and sometimes I feel like it's not talked about a lot, it's a program called Alabama Housing. I don't know. There's so many people out there with debt so much debt you guys that they can't even get a car they can't get a mortgage they can't even get a credit card like i mean a 200 dollars credit card some people can't even get a secure credit card so that's why i created my exclusive credit membership and it's only a dollar you guys so my exclusive credit membership you guys will actually get the letters to delete bankruptcies charge off repossessions any negative account that you have in your credit reports i have the letter so you guys can get that deleted but guess what just because you guys are a part of my exclusive membership you can get all those letters, but say if you don't want to do all that work, 
I have it so that you guys can get free credit repairs. So that means I will actually start working to help you remove these accounts from your credit reports. And look right here, look all the results that my clients are getting. So definitely remember, you guys can join my exclusive membership for just a dollar. And I'll have that link down below, or you guys can text SCORE21000 and you guys will have that link. So I'll see you guys in my exclusive membership. The technical mortgage word for it, but <laughs> It's a, it, and you may have it there in Florida as well. It's a program to where basically you take your main mortgage and you have that, you know, as your main mortgage payment. And then for a first time home buyer, if they don't have their down payment, they mm -hmm. literally take that down payment and they finance it into a small second mortgage for you. So essentially it gives a first time home buyer that may be credit worthy mm -hmm. or has worked on their credit and became credit, credit worthy a way to buy a house that may not necessarily have a down payment saved up yet, which I find fairly often, you know, people can buy, they just don't have that big lump sum to buy. Yeah. A house. So I really like that program and I don't feel like it's shared enough. And, and I, so I try to really push it out there. It's, mm -hmm. it's a little bit more in depth. Um, it's essentially like when you come to the closing table, you're closing two loans. So it's oh, a little yeah. bit more, it's a little bit more paperwork, a little bit more, <laughs> yeah. you know, time, but it is out there for, you know, Alabama. And I, I love that program for people who need that help. That sounds perfect. Now, what type of credit score are they looking for? If they're, well, what kind of credit score should they have if they want to do this type of, I call it like a no money down loan because it's similar to right. USD, but they just package yeah. it differently. Mm -hmm. What type of credit score should they have? Um, the credit score, the the last one about a month ago that I was checking in with, the requirement was still 640. Okay, 640. Okay, perfect. And they don't yeah. have to put any money down. They're going to actually yeah. get a second mortgage. Right, right. Okay, that's that is amazing. So that means yeah. you just got to put it together. You'll be you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And you said you did some some credit. Give us some credit tips because that's mainly what most mostly what I do. I help people help fix yeah. their credit to get into a home. Give us some credit tips that you may give some of your buyers just to get that quick. What's like some um, tips you give to get like that quick boost to their credit, like pay down your credit cards. You know, right. simple tips like that. Right. If, so if somebody is able to pay down their credit cards, that's always going to be the first thing that I recommend is just getting some of their debt paid down to get that debt to income ratio, you know, obviously yes. a little better. Um, if it's somebody that doesn't have a lot of credit, I try to initially get them in with just something that's going to hurry up and give them a trade line. Sometimes I've used things as, and you, you probably very familiar with this finger hut or just something yes. very simple that can hurry up and get them a trade line within the next 30 days. Um, I always recommend, you know, I find a lot of people don't know what's on their credit report. Yes. So I'll, I'll often recommend, you know, just go to my FICO, log into their credit report and agencies directly, pull your credit report, look at it line by line and just see what's mm -hmm. there. Sometimes you're going to find that it's the smallest thing that's bringing more down the Uh oh, it's kind of muted. Did I come back to you? There we go. You're back now. Okay. okay. Sorry, Sorry about that. that. <laughs> Sorry about that. What was <laughs> the last part? Right. Um, so I was saying that you don't realize just what, you know, little something on your credit report yeah. could be bringing your score down so much. So I always advise them to look at their credit report really well. Um, and just get familiar with it. So that's that's really kind of the three main things that I always go with is, is you know, knowing what's there, getting a trade line if you need it, and just trying to pay down some of your debt, you know, to get that debt to income ratio a little better. And how long do you t does it typically take for buyers to close? So say if they start working with you, they have their pre-approval, how long does it typically take for them well, not even, let's not even say to close. Like they find their dream home. You got to find a house. That's that's a part too. That's a whole big yeah. section. After <laughs> find a home, yes. how long is it taking right now for people to close in your area? Even with like appraisals, you know, some people are maybe um, delayed. So typically, we are still able to initially write on our offer about thirty to thirty-five, forty days. Oh, okay, um, that's amazing. Most. Yeah, most lenders, if there's not any complications, if there's not any appraisal repairs, anything like that, we're still able to close in 30 to 35 days. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, we always have buyers, but we have sellers too. What mm -hmm. are some things out there you have for sellers? Some people want to sell. Maybe they want to sell mm -hmm. their home now and get into another home. They're downsizing. Maybe they want to move. Tell us a little bit about things that you help your sellers with, because I know you say you help sellers also. Right, right. Um, well, 
I like to initially just go in, you know, like I'm sure a lot of other agents do. I like to go in and talk with them, you know, about what they can do to their house to make it a little more appealing. I like to talk to them about the market in their area. I like to talk to them about the market and where they're thinking about going. Um, you know, on the downside of that, our market is very great right now for sellers, as I'm sure everywhere oh. is. And so a lot of my sellers that are thinking about selling lately are having some concerns with finding another place. So, oh, wow. yeah, so I, I do I've never like thought to, of that. Yeah, I, I like to kind of get a leg up and give them a little bit, you know, a feeling of ease and being able to find another place. So when I actually go to meet with them, I like to go ahead and pull houses that are for sale in the area that they're thinking about going just okay. to show them what's out there to give them peace of mind, because that's what I'm finding most right now is just sellers are afraid of being able to find something. <laughs> yes. Um, I never thought about that. Yes. Like yeah, they have to move yeah. too. And now they have to probably compete if there's more. Yeah. Are you guys having multiple offers also on properties? We are. Like oh yeah. Crazy we are. multiple offers, not the normal. Yes. <laughs> we, I, I would say probably what, what we around here tend to call the COVID year. I hate to throw that word out there, but it's just been crazy with the real estate market. Don't forget, you only need a 580 credit score to buy a home. Some people can go all the way down to a 500 credit score. So all I want you to do is go ahead and click that link for my home buying program, and I'll help you step by step find a mortgage broker or find a bank to actually give you the money to get a loan, and then I'll connect you with one of my partners in the United States. So I don't care where you at. I don't care if you're in Georgia, Texas, Florida, Wisconsin. I don't care where you at. You can even be in Cali. Go ahead and click that link and join my home buying program. I, I feel like lately it's starting to try to level out a little bit. We're starting to actually get some breathing room with some of our buyers being able to actually win something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, because it has been so crazy with multiple offers. So I do feel like the last month it's starting to just ease up a little to give more of your first time home buyers an option to find something. Do you see a lot of investors? buying those homes right now is that what it is who they compete with mostly other home buyers i'm Just really other home not, buyers. yeah i mean properties are going so high right now that through this past year i really have not seen a lot of investors you know winning out or or getting houses that are at a normal market price because sellers know they don't have to go below that i mean that's just being honest so your investors are still obviously finding things, but it's your, you know, estates that are just wanting to sell quick and get out or, you know, your rundown kind of things that they're willing to flip and whatnot. But for your, you know, typical market house that's in good shape, investors really don't stand a chance right now. <laughs> yes, yes. So, well, I see a lot of investors, maybe because it's Florida too. You have a lot of investors just because of the right. area. So yeah. when clients want to get started, what's their first thing with getting started with you? Should they already come pre-approved or do you have a mortgage broker that you love working with? Oh yeah, definitely. I keep, so when I initially get a phone call from somebody wanting, you know, my help, that's kind of the first thing I, I approach them with two things. I always like to have a buyer consultation with somebody simply mm -hmm. because it eliminates so many questions that somebody has, especially yes. somebody that's never bought a house. You know, they have a lot of your easier questions that sometimes in the hustle and bustle of the day, we don't think about, hey, they may not know this. Mm -hmm. So I do like to sit down or have a phone conversation, have a Zoom call and just say, hey, let me kind of walk you through the process, tell you how this is going to go. And, you know, this is what a pre-approval is. This is what you need to get started. As soon as we get this done, we're going to go look at houses. So yes. I do, I do like, to, I, I keep a list, you know, I have, you know, three or four lenders that I love. If somebody doesn't have their own personal lender right now that I have, you know, just by the quick as a text of the phone call that I can say, Hey, so-and-so needs to talk to you today for pre-approval. You know, can you get them? And usually I'm, I, my list is narrowed down to somebody that I know is going to have really good communication and it's going to take care of my clients and get back to me fairly quickly. And it can so. close the deal. That's another thing. Exactly. Like any means necessary. We got to yes. get this closed. Yes. Like they want their home. That's the worst part. I, I am picking my and picking lenders for my buyers because I, I always say I'm kind of like mama hen. I have such a servant heart mentality and I treat my mm -hmm. clients like they're my babies that mm -hmm. my lender 
you're going to get vetted and you're going to get, you know, just as mm -hmm. checked out as somebody would check out their real estate agent that they choose to use, mm -hmm. you know, because you're taking care of my clients. Yes. You know, and that's, that's how I feel. If, if you do something bad, I'm the one that recommended them to you. So that falls back on us, you know, so I yes. want them to be just as hungry and awesome and, you know, want to help them, you know, go above and beyond for mm -hmm. them as, as well. So. And before we before we wrap this up, I want you to give us a uh, like a quick tip or talk about a time where a client it just was not going right, but somehow you saved the you saved their day. Something maybe you know like right now one of my clients they're buying a home, but he was on social security before, so he just started. He kind of he'd been working for almost for two years now, and I was like, did you ever tell him you was getting social security income? And now it's helping save the deal because it's income now that could be counted. And now he's going to be able to go ahead with that purchase. Tell us something about a time where maybe you have to save oh. a day. With a I'm pretty sure you have a billion of those. I, ha I have a good one that just came to mind. <laughs> so about two years ago, I had a couple that was buying, I guess, really their retirement home, their, their last mm -hmm. home. They, their kids had grown up and they were wanting to downsize. So they had sold their previous home. They were staying in a rental. They had been mm -hmm. in that rental for a little over a year and they was like, okay, we're ready to go. We're ready to buy. This is the area we want to retire in. So I started working with them. We found a house, got them under contract, was going really smooth, got all the way down to literally three days before closing, three days before closing, their rental payments had been paid in cash. And, you know, a lot of times, depending on the lender that you're working with, you know, they have to see that 12 month rental history. Well, it came down to three days before closing and the underwriter decided that they didn't want to accept receipts for cash payments on the rent. Yeah. So we were in trouble. I was like, OK, so what do we do? He was like, really nothing we can do. The underwriter's turning down the loan. Like turning down the loan and here we were three days before closing that's the walkthrough that's the final <laughs> walkthrough day that's closing disclosures final i walkthrough. know i know it was crazy oh. so oh my gosh you guys look at these results that one of my clients got just from opening a self account now this self account is amazing so i have this account also i paid 48 dollars per month and then after a year they send me all my money back but you know the best part i'm saving money and then they're reporting to the credit bureaus all three credit bureaus every month that i'm paying on time which is really boosting my credit score you guys so definitely if you don't have a self account right now it's a installment account your credit score is really low get that self account you're going to be so happy that you did it this was about this was at like five o'clock in the afternoon. I immediately told them, I called my buyers. I said, don't worry. We're not going to let this happen. I told the lender, I said, if you can't do it, I'm going to find somebody that can have my file on standby to be transferred. Go ahead and prep the appraisal to be transferred with the case number. I immediately got on the phone with another lender that I knew kind of took things Ooh. that were a little, that had some, you know, other ways to get around, you know, not being so traditional, but still, you know, obviously abided by everything we was supposed to just had a different way of doing things. Um, immediately got on the phone with him. He worked until 1 a.m. in the morning and got that file closed in seven days. Oh, wow. So it put, it pushed it back four days, but that <laughs> pushed is it back amazing. four days. Yes. Talk about having heart attack. <laughs> Yes. We, oh my gosh. We were literally in panic mode, but I could not have been more appreciative of that lender taking it, being at the office, working on it until 1 a.m. in the morning, immediately getting that appraisal transferred and saved it in seven days. We were at the closing table. Oh, wow. So what is that's a great tip. <laughs> and what is your suggestion for people that do pay their rent in cash? Yeah. Or that just yeah. get a receipt. And what's your mm -hmm. suggestion with that? What do you suggest that everyone do? Everyone I does? would I would at least do a money order that you can have okay. that receipt, that money order receipt. I mean, some lenders are not funny about it. Their underwriters will approve it if it's paid in cash with a receipt. But I guess, you know, if you look at it, a, an underwriter that could be being just, you know, more traditional may look at it as you could forge, you know, a rent receipt yeah. possibly. So maybe that's why they don't trust it. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at least pay with a money order that you have that money order receipt or, you know, then, well, not then. I check. I mean, honestly, that's your only job. I'm a big yeah. person. So I always think Venmo. I mean, if you don't have a checking account that you can pay with a check, I would always just use a money order. 
Okay, never perfect. hand over anybody. Never hand anybody cash. <laughs> yes, and and you had a paper trail. I had that happen with one of my clients before, but I believe we mm. actually got a letter from the actual landlord, and it was actually cleared up. Yeah, but and, still, and sometimes like said, they don't even. Yeah, right, but sometimes some take it. Yeah, some take it, some don't. And this was. But the it was a big problem. Yeah. This was the one situation where they didn't take it. We almost thought that we were just going to be out three days oh before God. closing. Yeah. And, I, you know, at that point, too, you're three days before closing. You're excited. That's when you get your closing yeah. disclosure, you your final walkthrough, you know, and yeah. you're all excited. You're looking around like three more days. <laughs> yeah. And then you get those news. Some people just break down and give up. So that's a good way, too, for people to yeah. see that like, you should not give up no matter what. Right, right. I tell everybody that. That's like my biggest motto. If you come to me, I have never had anybody that I cannot get you in a house. I'm like one of the most non-traditional. I will crawl, crawl through holes. I mean, I will <laughs> find <laughs> it. Oh, I muted again. My phone rings. I apologize for that. Oh, okay. That's what it is. There okay. we go. <laughs> I don't know what it's you, but you're like, if your phone rings, it's going to be muted. <laughs> yes. Um, so, I mean, I've always told everybody that where there's will, there's a way. It really all depends on how hard you want to work for it. That's what that's it boils true. down to. That's what that's it boils true. down to. It all depends on how hard you want it. You, if you want it bad enough, I'll get it for you. <laughs> yes. So. And do you have any social media where people can actually go and follow you and see what you're doing? Because I looked at some of your social media and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. You, <laughs> let us know a little bit about your social medias and I'll make sure I put it in the show notes so Absolutely. other people can go ahead and follow you. I have a Facebook page. My Facebook page is AMC or AM Cusimano Realtor. That's my, my what do you call, tag or whatever on Facebook. <laughs> so it's A. My first name is Anne Marie, so it's A.M. Cusimano, Realtor. That's how you would find me on Facebook or just search for Anne Marie Cusimano. Um, I also have a personal page. I friend everybody on that as well. Um, I have mm -hmm. an Instagram page, uh, Anne Marie Cusimano. You can find me on there as well. I have a LinkedIn, same way. Just search for Anne Marie Cusimano. There's not many Cusimano Anne Marie's out there, so I wouldn't be that hard to find. Yeah. Uh, so LinkedIn, I have a Zillow profile. I mean, pretty much at all. Just search for my name and you can find me. There's no weird way of searching for me. Yeah, I think yeah. that's how I found you on Zillow. I think that's how okay. I found you. Yeah, awesome. awesome. So you guys, yeah. I really, really love her. I look, I think I, I know for sure I found you on Zillow because that's how I found a lot of the realtors because I want to see realtors yeah. actually out there doing things. And everyone knows that I refer people to I refer you to agents that I actually really like and I can actually see that they're doing things. And I just I'm just so happy that we're able to actually do this podcast together. And I now know. people can yeah. able to know, like, if you're in Birmingham, we have Emory for you. <laughs> to help you. And you. is there any closing closing remarks you want to give us? Well, you know me coming from a real estate agent, I have to throw in something kind of special about our brokerage. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and, and I told you about this earlier. So we are a brokerage here in Birmingham, Alabama. The, the little tidbit of information that a lot of people don't realize about us is we are one of the only brokerages in Birmingham mm -hmm. and the surrounding areas that will that serves our client in a way that we offer a flat fee, full service listing fee. That's so. Fair. Yes, we will list your house, unlike some of the flat fees that you can, you know, just pay to get in the system to sell your house. We actually provide you with a $2,900 flat listing fee and provide more than full service to you. So that's kind of something unique about our brokerage. And what's full service for those that don't know what full service is? So full service is I am there from the time we have a you know listing, put the lockbox on photography until the end of being at the closing table. So I just handle like everything you for you. Percent. Yes. A yes. regular. I handle everything wow. for right. Right. Yep. So everything. So for, for somebody that's gonna put do the six percent, whatever they will do with any other brokerage, that you get everything. It's not just listed on the MLS. Mm -hmm. That includes your listing in MLS, your lockbox, your professional photography, your sign in the yard, includes me being at your back and call every day. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and I have, we have a team of admins that handles everything for us from contract to close. So you have an entire group of people at your, you know, at your back and call from the time you hire us. So. 
Well, thank you so much for coming on. I'll make sure I definitely call you a little later so I can make sure. Or I want to actually get a great picture. So send me a great picture of you so I can put it on um, the YouTube okay. thumbnail. And send me all the information so I can put it down below in the description so that people can actually go ahead and follow you and connect with you. And hopefully we'll be doing a lot of deals together for people that's out in Birmingham and the surrounding areas yeah. that looking to buy a home. But thank you so much, Emily. I would love that. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Alrighty, you're welcome. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited that she was actually able to come on, you guys. Now, don't forget, if you're in Birmingham or the surrounding area, she'll be able to help you. And not only do she help buyers, she also helps sellers. So if you're looking to buy a home in Birmingham, don't forget, all you have to do is let me know and then I'll get you in contact with her and then I'll help you make sure that you're following through with everything. So I'll help you get pre-approved and I'll help you connect with her so that she can be, you can be able to get help from her. But don't forget, it's not just for Birmingham. I help people all around the United States. So this is just the first podcast. I'm so excited that I was able to do this for you guys. I have so many more coming up. So every Thursday, you're going to get a new podcast with mortgage brokers, or even two, you will have your realtors or even your broker, your realtor brokers out there that's going to come on, tell you a little bit about what they have going on, just so that you can know what's best for an area. Don't forget, she said they have no money down. They have the no money down option out there. So when I say no money down, that means no money down, you guys. So all you have to do is just have that 640 credit score, follow a few of my credit tips. You should be able to get to that 640 and you'll be able to buy your dream home. Don't forget, you guys, make sure you subscribe, like this video. And if you have any questions, always call or text me. You'll see my phone number here, 833-RAKITA. Always call or text me if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. There are so many people out there with debt, so much debt, you guys, that they can't even get a car. They can't get a mortgage. They can't even get a credit card. Like, I mean, a $200 credit card. Some people can't even get a secure credit card. So that's why I created my exclusive credit membership. And it's only a dollar, you guys. So my exclusive credit membership, you guys will actually get the letters to delete bankruptcies, charge off, repossessions, any negative account that you have in your credit reports, I have the letter so you guys can get that deleted. But guess what? Just because you guys are a part of my exclusive membership, you can get all those letters. But say if you don't want to do all that work, I have it so that you guys can get free credit repair. So that means I will actually start working to help you remove these accounts from your credit reports. And look right here. Look all the results that my clients are getting. So definitely remember, you guys can join my exclusive membership for just a dollar. And I'll have that link down below. Or you guys can text SCORE21000 and you guys will have that link. So I'll see you guys in my exclusive membership.